find out. That one's right down. And this one should be up. Up. Great. Okay. So sonars are, can either mount on the top or hang it underneath. And if it says it's the wrong way, the left becomes the right. That's so confusing. Yes. <laughs> Not exactly helpful. Gauge check complete. Cool. Can you write a note in the red book, please? What's up? The Herc Mezzo sonar was upside down in software. Can you guys explain what a gauge check is? Yeah, Annabelle can. Oh, okay. Uh, so the gauge check is, I mean, it's exactly what it sounds like. We check all the gauges um, on the vehicles to make sure there's enough oil in the comps and everything is looking good and hasn't really changed. Um, we also check uh, the ground fault, the voltage, and the temperature, as well as winch tension. We have an Excel sheet we write it all down in. We love organization. It took me a hot minute to uh, update that update thing, so I'm back now. Update the update. Yeah. I can't write and talk at the same time. That sounds, sounds right. I'm not good at that either. What are you trying to say? What am I trying to say? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, um... We're here at a unnamed seamount about southeast of the Johnston Atoll. Um, and we're down here at about 2,400 meters looking for rock formations, geological. Oh my god, I can't say the word. Um, and biodiversity. Uh, geological. <laughs> seamount. Geological. geological, thank you. I'm still waking up. It sounded like you were about to make up a really interesting sounding word, which is ge geography, which I think that's a great <laughs> word. You know what? I'm going to write that down for when I find a definition for it. Yeah, I'll geography. Point it. <laughs> I get too excited to talk, and then I, like, mash up all my words together. Yeah, a nice so pile we can keep of a lower delta here. right now. Um, I don't think there's a need to come up on the winch right now. We got a nice lazy loops. Tether's not up in Atalanta's face. So I think we can even come to 15 to 10. Should be okay. Solid. Roger. So, Rob, what are we looking at here? <coughs> Sorry. It's a, a nice flow front of pillows. You can just see the, the rounded uh, features just kind of pile on top of each other. And uh, some of it has slipped away, but you can kind of see some of the pillows in cross-section, too. Sometimes they'll have radiating uh, fractures that are created. Question for you folks in the back. Do we want to be as close as I am? Do you want to be closer or farther away, get a more up-close and personal, or like an overview view of this slope as we come up? Uh, for, for geology, I mean, this is okay. For biology, I'm not sure. Paolo, what do you... What would you like? Um, whatever. Let's check these corals, there? yes. We can check the coral.
All right, Dave, go ahead and zoom right on the edge of this fan so we see nothing of value. <laughs> Rats. <laughs> and there's another one just above it, too. I wonder if it's a, a bubble gummy. Well, thank you. Yeah, you can stay in, Dave. I'm going to go up to the one above it. Nice. Have living, I? living dangerously. There it is. Polo, is that the same type you think? Just slightly paler. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A whiter shade of pale. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, you can come up on Delta now. Roger. You know, we've been having like this contest kind of between, you know, living organisms and rocks the past couple of days, but the rocks here are quite beautiful. They are. Okay, if I zoom in on uh, Atlanta a little bit. Sure. Yeah. Trev? Yep. Cool. Challenge, Annabelle. Challenge, keep her going to zoom on those. Is that what I'm hearing? Zoom yes, in, please, please Dave. Is there anything I should do with the lights? Uh, lights are good. Okay, it's got a few brittle stars on it. Yeah, a lot of corals don't look healthy though. No, <laughs> not now. They're squirming, they're about to get out of there. I'll leave them alone. Bye, guys. Ooh, look, these look like these underhand overhang here. If you have this time. Sorry, I gotta gotta move now. No problem. Yeah, there's a lot of nice coral here now. And do we know what side of this like ridge or peak that we're on? We're slightly on the south side of the nose and coming up to the uh, to the top of it. She'll see there, Annabelle. When we're zoomed in, you got a lot more work to do with mm -hmm. keeping her centered. I'll uh, in the. I'll let you work into it gradually. In the cinema out. cam camera, there's a lot of like sponges that we're missing. Yep. Here's one now. Yep. Here's one now. As seen here. Some nice sheet flows coming down over the top of this slope too. Those are sheep. Wow. Is that the return of our professional sponge? It might be. Mm. Sack of calyx or sack of cowlips. <laughs> Yuck. It's been weeks, but we haven't forgotten. <laughs> I had forgotten. <laughs> oh. I had purged that. <laughs> Please, Dave. Thank you. And, and now you can't not forget it. I know, yeah. Latin for hard to focus on. <laughs> <laughs> nice flyby. Nice job, Trevor. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Just a reminder to all you viewers at home, if you're on NautilusLive.org, we are open and we are ready for questions um, in the chat just below the stream. There's another interesting looks like a bamboo up there least on the base. I think I see some nodes. Yep. And there's branching. Oh. oh. Steve, let Good us know if you want gravy. this one. Nodal yeah, or he said, he said, said yes to collect it. Yes to collect it? Yes, please. Okay. I'm just going to slam into the seafloor here then. <laughs> and what is this? It's a branching bamboo. Oh. At least that's what they were saying on the last watch with my geologic interpretation translator that I have on Google. <laughs> that's way too far away. How am I going to stay there? No chance. Got to go, got to go. I understand we're putting these in the forward toolbox. Is that correct? 
We can put it in Omega. Roger that, Omega. Can I get bubble on craft, please? Roger. S Steve, type in if you want us to get it below the uh, branch or just a piece near the top. Are we still waiting on Steve? Oh, there's micro branch. Oh yeah, at the you top. get the micro branch at the top. Oh, no, no, just, just kidding. Uh, juxtaposition. Yeah. When in doubt, grab the get the branch. I think they missed the branch last time. Just the branch. Yeah, get the, the branch. No, get the below the branch. Below the branch? Yeah. Okay, like here. Yeah, that's it. Sounds good. Can you please turn on downlight, Annabelle? Well, there's an associate on the top to Roger, a brittle star. Roger, downlight on. You know this isn't going to fit in the bio box at all, right? Well, Is I that mean, okay? what, what do you suggest? Uh, I could cut the top off here and there, and okay. then grab the branch. Yeah, that that work. Okay. But not if I miss, though. A little, uh, oh. a little hedge trimming. A little off the top. Come on, get out of there. There you go. Be gone with you. What's on it? Is that a, yeah, it's a, brittle a star. little star? Yeah. Oh, goodbye. And we're going to go here. Excellent. We're going to go here. <laughs> <laughs> Got it in two. All right. Uh. Can you come up on your delta, please? Roger, coming up on delta. Delta is at 15. Do you understand why? Uh, Cliff? Because I'm, you're getting on top of me. Oh. Because I'm stopped and you're moving, or the ship's moving, so. When Roger. you are above the vehicle, you want to be higher Delta. Delta? Can you get ready to open the toolbox? Yeah. What's the, what's going to be the ID Stand number by on please? This is number Stand by 029. Oh, sorry, I didn't copy that. Number 029. That is like zero a tool nine. tray mm -hmm. in yes, the GUI? thank you. Yes. No problem. Okay, go ahead. And what's the name? What do we call this? This is a bamboo coral. And bamboo coral. More. Thank you. Okay, Good I there. You see there. Mm -hmm. All right, you can close the toolbox. Roger. All right, and I gotta go. Yay. Mm. Thanks, Trevor, that was great. Chat is sending in some questions. So the first one being, what are those two green dots in the middle of the screen? They are lasers that are 10 centimeters apart that we use to measure. Turn down light back off. All right, back to beauty mode. And I will take uh, bubble on porch when you get a sec, please. Roger. Oof. Just so you know, uh, science row, push core number one, or A, or the one in front is pretty smoky. I don't know if you okay. can see that on the cameras there. Oh. Yeah, I see it. Mm. Just keep that in mind for when you're processing that sample. Someone asked why delete those two coral branches. So why did we collect the piece of coral in the specific spot we collected it? Why didn't we take the two top part of the branches? Science? Say again, please. Um, why, why did we take the part of the bamboo coral that we took? Why didn't we only took like that intersection? Why not take the two like longer parts of the branches? Uh, because we want to collect the more conservative way uh, these animals to, uh, to grow a lot of years so it's better to get a small piece and it's enough for our research will the the two like top parts of the branches we didn't collect like regrow or stay yeah. alive you're muted 
Yeah, we're probably size limited on the uh, the bio box, so that was the really main uh, limiting constraint. We had to get it down to a size that would fit. Have you ever seen someone in a like a sedan coming from the lumber store and there's just wood sticking out the vehicle all over? Yeah. Yeah, that would that'd be, like be us. <laughs> what we would look like if we'd sampled the whole thing. Could be interesting. A little sponge back there. A little target rich. The big one right front? Yeah, the the, the, the little one behind it. Ooh, I mean, we've, okay. Actually, no, we, we've seen that one. You want to zoom there, and then we'll keep going. And sure. Video, keep, you keep, keep zooming, zooming, please. Is that one of the ET sponges? I was going to say, that looks like that newer one. Which side do you want to see, the right or the left? Let's go right. Sounds good. Look in the gizzard of the thing. The gizzard. It's like a little thing attached to it. A little associate, some flavor. Yeah. Look at the stringy thing he's hanging off it too. Wow, See that off to the left? Nice. Is this that ET sponge? Looks like it. Yeah. <laughs> to my untrained eye. Wow, that's a nice job, Trevor. That's really great. Thank you. This reminds me to Kaulofacus. Hello, big coral. Oh boy, we're nearly at the waypoint. Yeah. Keep on going to the next wave. What waypoint then? Let's go. All right. I think I see the waypoint in sonar. <laughs> That's the lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, that's a lie. <laughs> You're a liar. No, I didn't see that. <laughs> I always like looking at exactly where the waypoint is to see what we picked randomly from uh, like the surface. In this case, we picked this thing, this little uh, micro coral. This is on our waypoint. So let's zoom in mm -hmm. on this little waypoint coral, please. <laughs> oh, interesting. It's got a squat on it, too. Yeah. Okay. It's, oh, possible squat. To, it's possible to collect this. Come wide, please. Yes, we can try. With the, a little piece of coral with the animal. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what I can no, do. That's great. Inverts are cool. Lobster. Waypoint lobster. <laughs> the squat lob. The guardian of the waypoint. Oh. Bubble on craft, please. Roger. Ooh. How do you drive this thing? Not like I'm doing. Trevor, I hope you would know. Clearly not. I just floated off bottom. Yeah, if we get this, it's going to be exactly on our waypoint. <laughs> it's perfect. It's like we knew he was there, or it was there. It works. There. Okay, and I'll get down light again, please. Zoom in, please, video. Roger. Down light on Herc. So Good this there. is Uroptychus squad lobster. Oh, it's challenging us. I'm going to not snip it. I'm just going to kind of grab it like this. Okay, big claws. The battle of the claws. <laughs> Come wide, please. And stand by to open that toolbox. Is this going in starboard or forward, we think? Forward. Okay. Oh, so toolbox. Omega? Uh, Omega, open it Roger. Up. Stand by. Okay. <laughs> Standing by. Okay, you can open it. I'm going to put this in Omega. So, what should Roger. I name this? Data? This is number 30, so 030. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. I, I mean um, the, okay. the, uh, the, the name. This is a squat lobster. Okay, thank on you. On the genus Uroptychus. Get out of there. 
Uh oh. Sorry, I, I don't know what that, what that is. You can put it down as a squat lobster on an octo coral. And Sticky. what? Octa? Octo coral. Octo, okay. Alright, you can close oh, that. Oh, he's no, trying no, to swim away. out. Oh Too no. Bye bye. No. I'm not, not going to be able to get him. Call the sub. No. Oh. The escape. Okay. Just escape. It's just an octo coral. It's a Chrysogorgia. <laughs> It's a crazy gorgia. <laughs> oh my. That's painful. <laughs> oh, if we had opened that one more time, he would have been out of there. They don't really like being sampled. I was gonna ask, um, if we if we put it in there and like put something else in that toolbox, uh, would it would he would it be able to swim out even after? Or would it be able to swim out while we're, you know, cruising along? Or is it closed? If we open it up to put another sample in there, then yeah, the little mm. rascal can escape. Pandora's lobster box. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But it, when we have it like stowed, it has a lid on it. Yes, that's correct. All right. All right. Sad for us, happy for the squat lobster. Exactly. That lobster will have a crazy story to tell. <laughs> I got abducted by aliens. All right, Elias, I'm going to sit here for 30 seconds. Oh, Once oh. you get a couple points, can I have a reset, please? Oh, okay. Okay, I think you got some good hits there. Probably here, right? Uh, 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 yeah, let's, yeah, let's yeah. do this. Um, no, this should Okay, wonderful. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's go. So the next waypoint's the same bearing? Yeah, like that's what I'm... Just, uh, no, it's got to change. Yeah, go for it. And How do we determine where the waypoints are? Wow. Open question for anyone that knows. Well, what we do is, uh, when we map the region, we start to Did you say 254? Okay. That doesn't sound right. Oh, okay. It's on me. It's going to be this way. Roger. We begin to look at the uh, the topography and the backscatter Other way. and uh, the depths. And then we try to plan what our, our objectives are. If we just want to mm -hmm. kind of run a ridge, looking for coral, or if we want to do a combination. Uh, but it's usually the the people who do the mapping, the expedition leader, the uh, science leads kind of get together, put their heads together, and find Roger. out what's the, uh, might be the most useful approach. We also look at you know what side of the uh, sea mount or the features yeah, you want no to look at too. Well, what is backscatter? Oh, uh, backscatter is uh, when you use multi beam, you can actually get the bathymetry, or you can actually look at the the strength of the signal coming back. And what's nice about that, if it's a a weak signal that comes back, you pretty much say there's a lot of sediment there. But if it's a really strong signal that comes back, it's probably bedrock or hard rock or hard sub bottom. Hard Rock Cafe. <laughs> hard Rock Cafe. And are we, we're looking for more Hard Rock waypoints? Or are we looking for a mixture of both? It, it depends on what our objectives are. I mean, if we're looking for creatures that are more typically in soft sediments, like maybe sea pens or something like that, or we're also trying to find the distribution of these uh, interesting nuggets 
trying to find out what, what reaches those might be in too. Roger. But for the most part, the, the interesting corals. Uh, Speaking of interesting like corals. This one here, it's like a primnoid. Uh, that uh, they usually have like a hard bottom to, to attach to. If I can. They're hold fast. You can see with this primnoid right here, you see the white hold fast that's uh, anchored to the rock. Right, because they can attach to sediment. Is that on the, oh, there's a big one on this the, uh, big colony. on the other camera, oh, look, gorgeous. behind. Oh, I can't do it. That's okay. Let's have a zoom on the, uh, from Noah or whatever. Then I might be able to zip over to that far large one. Nice. All right, that's the best thing I'm gonna get there. Come wide, please. And then I'm gonna zip, zip over here. I don't have a lot of time, and this might be bouncy, but we'll see what I can do. It's a good size of this one, though, isn't it? We got leaping stars again. Leaping <sighs> stars. Shooting stars. Dave, you can zoom as you see fit, whatever you think's best. What, kind what of is that ball? little white thing the on crown? it? Yeah. This um an isopod. It's an isopod, oh. interesting. Oh, an isopod. This uh, is a beautiful pink. Is this a hemicorallium? Do you think it's possible to get those? The uh, isopod? Probably yeah, not without getting the whole coral. Okay. Nice bubblegum coral. Is it bubblegum? I guess so. Hemicorallium? Let's see. <laughs> bubblegum is paragorgia, paragorgia, but they look very similar. That's what I learned yesterday. Shout out to Leela. <laughs> 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 All right, thank you. Here we go. Cool, I suppose. So the the brittle stars that were like bigger on the top of that coral are they a different species than those little ones that we've seen falling off of things? So like the bigger ones were like a redder color, and the little ones were like a whiter, paler color. Yes. question in the chat is, are there ethical considerations yeah. when taking biological samples? Um, so I know that we have limitations on, on Delta, taking please. samples. If on biology, you want to say like what? Well, we have and zoom wide ethical on mini -zoos, considerations when Delta we first. conserve, fix, and manage some specimens. But uh, apart from limitation on the sampling, uh, get samples from species that we haven't collected yet and things Where'd like that. Where do you want to see here, Rob? Yeah, I just want to see this, these corals. Just so okay, I do care. a snap zoom here. Yeah. Dave, then I got to go. There's a nice little combination of everything in there. Thank from you. Noid. Snap That's like good nice. stuff in the back, too. Yeah, more Noids. All right, I'm going to keep moving. Thank you. Okay. okay. Keep coming up on Delta. So I saw the float in the butt cam. Mm. I don't want to see that. Ooh, we're peeking at this ridge here. A little yeah, like micro we're still peak here. Up. Yeah. There's more ridge, obviously, off to this direction here. Yep. But uh, it's an interesting plateau thing. Yeah, this, we, we kind of expected the top of this uh, nose to be to be here. We're hoping a little more activity here, a little more corals. Are you still after some rocks? Uh, yeah, I, I wanted to get out of the I talus. I have two lights on. Roger. Do you want me to talus pile on? below, but this actually, if we would get one more up here on top, this is probably broken up, but I think most of it's in place. If you want to try to grab one here. All right, I'll turn one off then. Ooh. It looks target rich here. Mm -hmm. 
So did you say you wanted to grab something yes, here? Yes, I did. I would like to get a rock. Sorry. Okay, you circle what you want. I mean, somewhere down in here. I mean, that one's too big down at the base of the circle. Okay, let's see what we can do. Pretty sure it's too big. Yeah, it's about 20 centimeters. Oops. How big are you looking for? Well, is that, can you get that? Oh, yeah. It looks nice and angular and dark. Oh, yeah. I say with more confidence than I should have. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't have a, has an old hold fast on it, too. Has we have B and D on craft, in please. the starboard bio box. If either Annabelle? of those are. Mm -hmm. Bubble large on craft, enough. please. Roger. One more time there. Uh, we okay. have B and D in the starboard bio box. Roger if that. it'll fit. Uh, it won't fit in those. Echo or Fox are the big ones, right? Yeah, we so can't put it in the forward ones. All right, in the forward ones. I'm talking yeah. the outboard of we the have starboard box. F. F. F has a pebble scoop in there. Can I, if I can put it in there, it might fit. Might, with a capital M. Look at that. Nice job. Oh, I guess you want to see it, don't you? Yeah, it has associate. Downlight I mean, on, please. It's And... Dave, you can zoom. Roger, down light on. Well, that's great because it has a coral on it too. If we get a, and I think Steve, if you can place it so it doesn't crush that thing. Well, okay. there's another one too. Come full wide, please. And for the people downstairs, Annabelle, can you please hit the sample salvo? That's the purple button on the router on the video router in front of you. Oh. Thank you. And then now can you get ready to open the starboard bio box? That is sample tray. Sample tray, yeah. And we're gonna go in Foxtrot. Go ahead, open the box. Eh, a bit more. Good there. Oh, what? What? <laughs> you said there was what in here? Pebbles? Yep, just a pebble scoop in F. Oh, and the scoop. That ain't gonna fit. No, and all of the scoops in there. Can I put it in Echo? We have a broken push cord handle and an angular flat rock. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> um, so is that a yes, I'm allowed to put it in there? Let's try. Dig it out of here. Okay. Goodness gracious. Oh. Sorry, I thought pebble scoop was written as like a scoop of pebbles instead of the scoop being separate. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, we've been putting the scoop in with it. This is like palming a basketball. <laughs> wow, what's happening here? <laughs> wow. Well, well that coral sample fell into F, so. Yep, make oh. note of that. Ooh. Wow. This is uh, not being very friendly, is it? Big rock. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I'm not uh, holding my breath on this one. Yeah, I mean, if it's not going to fit, I mean. Yeah, then I got to take it out, but. Okay. I'll give it a couple. Couple more bumps. That might go. Wait a sec. Yeah, let's try that on for size. All right, sample tray in. Okay. Moment you get your waypoint. I'm gonna move. Ooh. Oh, she's heavy. Do you think this is gonna be a good one? I think so. Looks good. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, the rock didn't escape this time. Well, <laughs> it's, it's not, not great. completely closing, but... Yes, yeah, so that's up to you, Science. This bio box is not completely sealed. It's closed, but not sealed. Yeah, There's a bit of a gap around there. If we have anything escapey, then it might escape, so I can pull the rock out if you need. I'm, I'm deferring to Maraki. All we have in there is a push core handle and another rock, so the other rock will be fine. 
How do we feel about the push core handle? That's, that won't fly out, yeah. Okay. Salvo back to dive? Sure, please. Oh. Shrimp, shrimp count. On the dive, Salvo, do you want to see the uh, uh, Triclops camera? Oh, that's right. I think we're using four, the yeah. fourth Salvo. That's the ROV cams on your panel there. Yeah, there sweet. You Thank you. And can I get uh, Bubble on porch, please? Roger. All right. Whew, hectic. All right, let's go. Sampling is a lot. Pulling up on Delta. So Trevor, you got your driving fingers on now? No, I left them at home. <laughs> I'm just driving by my feet. Well, here's Ooh. an impressive lava in yeah. place feature. I'm wondering, Steve, if you're on... Dave, can we zoom in, please? Would you want a, uh, an eDNA, <laughs> a Niska yeah. bottle here? A lot of primnoids here. Sorry, that was a terrible, terrible start here. I just want to do it up the ridge fly here. Yeah, they really like these uh, in-place lava mounds. The corals do lots of primnoids here. Oh, I ruined it. <laughs> 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 Thanks for humoring me, humoring me Dave. Um, did you hear back from Steve there, Rob? Nothing yet. Yeah, these are gorgeous lava tubes coming down the nose of this thing. Mm -hmm. So are they hollow beneath it, or do you think there's more rock? No, it's it, these are solid rock. This is uh, everything's been in place since it's been erupted. Nice steep slope. I mean, there may be some hollow areas that is a material flowed through, but. Here? Yes, we can. Okay, Dave, we'll have a nice bouncy zoom on this pink thing. There it is. Mm, no guest today. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thanks. <laughs> no guests today. <laughs> no vacancy. Steve says it's a Chrysogorgia. Look at the view of this ridge line in the cinema cam. Oh, wow. Beautiful, yeah. And we're almost exactly at 2,400 meters deep. Depends on where on the vehicle you're measuring from, I guess. I'm just looking at the, the screen. Totally. That says it. <laughs> yeah, actually, Trevor, I'm going to make a, a little bit of an executive decision. And can we pop one of the bottles up on top of here? Pop a bottle, Roger. Steve gave me the thumbs up. He says, let's get some Edna. Can I get the uh, <laughs> craft bubble thingy? Roger. And then, oops, why is this not, oh, it's not on yet. Yeah. Niskins one through five are open. One through five, Roger that. Nice, you got some primnoids here. Looks like the Chrysogorgia there. And using the some sponge screen, can I have uh, bubble on Niskins? Roger. Thank you. OK, 
can you turn off starboard and port light, please? Roger. All right. Okay, someone can see the Niskins. I'm going to go for number five. Let's work backwards. Five is open. Yep. Okay, here we go. Whoop. Here we don't go. <laughs> Got butterfingers. Oh, goodness gracious. This is a really small one. I'm going to do this. You got hands like feet, Trevor. What is this? <laughs> he said he was using his feet. <laughs> that looks like it's popped. Yeah, thank you. Rob, can you explain what pop the bottle means? Okay, bubble on craft, please. Roger. Oh. And now that's number 32. Did we drop a pin for that one? It's you, Elias. Better go fast, I'm about to move. Okay, Steph, to get back to you, uh, popping a bottle is on the side of the uh, vessel. We have uh, I just did, yeah. several Niskin bottles that uh, collect water, and they have an open top and an open bottom. And when you pull... I sampled water. When you pull the, the plug, they all snap and close and collect the water that's in that area. So I'll call them pop the bottle. Pop the bottle. Not to be confused with a soda bottle. Not to be confused with the soda bottle, right. And uh, what do we use the water sample for? Is that what we're going to test for eDNA? Yeah, that's what they, they use. See what sort of uh, critter stuff is in the water column. Maybe yeah. they can identify the various porch, species. Please. Then eDNA, or EDNA, Annabelle? as mm -hmm. Rob Bubble called porch, it, please. is environmental porch, DNA. Once the craft is stowed, I'll take that back there. Okay. So we're testing for just random debris of biology yep. in the water, correct? Just to see what, you know, s sorts of critters in the area. Area critter. This is an impressive ridge, though, geologically and critter-wise. Maybe, can we zoom here? Yes, absolutely. Uh, I'll tell you in just a sec. Zoom in on Herxus, please. On this one, back yeah. row? Yeah. Oh, uh. An old sponge stock with oh. a brittle star on it, too. Yeah. Nobody's there? Nobody. Nobody's there. How about the ones just to the right? You can Down. stay in. As I bounce around, we nothing there. Uh, a bamboo. A Excuse sponge. me, sponge. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> another branching one. Yeah, it's another branch. Uh, bamboo. Cool. Prenoid. Paula, where are all the squat okay. lobsters? Thanks for coming. Thank you. It it is the weekend. Oh. I think yeah. I have taken it off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Chrysogorgy here too at the time, Trevor. Are, yeah, yeah we just have a look time. Sure. Still sleeping off that squat lobster party <laughs> that they had last night. <laughs> They're all in LA to see Taylor Swift. Oh. 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 <laughs> all right, zoom in there, please. The Eris tore underwater. 2,000 meters deep. I wondered how long it would take to get a Paracorgia. reference to Taylor Swift. <laughs> Maybe. Did you think it would have been Dave that would reference Taylor Swift? <laughs> Looks like Thank a pair of to me. Thank you, come on. I have a 14 year old granddaughter. Oh. Well, there's a sea star back here, too. Have you look at that? Holy. We're Zoom happy I'm this just morning. Just asking. <laughs> no, of course. There's a lot of great stuff here. It's giving you a hard time. I mean, Steve was interested in trying to pick up some uh, sea stars as well. We're a little too slow to be picking this okay. fella up, but we can absolutely look at it. Yeah. But if we see some of the uh, the, the fatter ones, Where not the slime stars. Just slime stars. That was just here. It 
It's right where the lasers are, right? That's what I thought too, but no, I don't see it now. It's that dot, no? Can you zoom in on the dot? It's an anemone. Yeah, it's an anemone. I thought it was uh, there. Weird. I thought it's farther to the left. Okay, come wide again. We'll do one more quick search and then I gotta go. That's fine. Alright. I will move along oh, then. There it was, gone. Just like that. Off with the squat lobster, swim it away. <laughs> Word must have gotten out that we're uh, cruising along here because everybody went and hid. Sample ready. <laughs> it was that squat lobster that escaped. It went and told so the rest of the them. See the camera up uh, up there? That, I'm, that one just flickered. That just came back on. See the gray tubes? Those are all water bottles. Those are Niskin bottles. And they have little lids that come on the top and bottom. When I pull that colored ball, it triggers those lids and traps the water. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, Trevor, that's great. Nice follow-up to when I said pop the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> well, look at those lava tubes. This is gorgeous. It's great, yeah. I kind of want to I was thinking responsibly go on this side. Like moment. Squeeze a toothpaste out of a tube. Earth toothpaste. Oh, that's lovely, Trevor. Geologically speaking, from no one's there. Look at the Atlanta view, too. Oh. Like. Nice. <laughs> you know what? I'll flag this as a highlight. Yeah, this Just is Just for nice. you. This is really nice. Annabelle, what if you turned off the remaining Atlanta light? Roger. Ooh. Call out some zooms here, Paula, if you want anything you see here. It looks good. So cool. I can't really get down the cliff at all. Okay. Okay. Atlanta's on the opposite side, so. Is that a squat? Mm. I Could think be. they are opioids. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fighting the tether a lot, that's just fine. I'm at 12 on Delta. That's fine, yeah. This definitely is a happy place for coral. It's all right. It's okay. I'm just trying to see about the focus here. Is that because there's like a current that pushes a lot of nutrients to them? Cool. I think that's what Steve says. We have this nice little promontory. You have nice hard rock, and it's locally uh, elevated. And so it's not just it's a ridge, but I think these local elevated regions add a little extra passage of material for them to filter. We have a little bit of time here. I want to do one more thing. Right, because I'm assuming they grow in abundance where there's an abundance of nutrients that they have access to. And I think they like pretty rocks and scenery. Yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd believe it. Don't we all? <laughs> Seems the DVR is st still doing well. All right, thank you. Oof, it's a long way down. Someone in the chat a few minutes ago said, don't fall off the edge. <laughs> <laughs> I can fly. All right, that was great. I got to really get back on track now, though. I'm dropping um, Alvin weight over here. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> it's funny when you drop the drop weights mid-water, they do flutter. Hmm. Interesting. All right, you can do whatever you'd like with your lights. You can leave them like that or turn them on, whatever you want. I think turn one on. Okay. Light bank one. Yeah. Got some nice dramatic shots though. All right, unfortunately we got to move away from this ridge line. The ship's kind of okay. more going this way. We'll see more like this, I'm pretty sure. This is some real mountaineering stuff. Yeah. We got a yodel. Oh. Let's hear your yodel. No. <laughs> Any yodelers in the chat? Type in your best yodel. Yeah, type in your best yodel. We may yodel it. <laughs> Disclaimer, no yodeling will actually probably happen. Right, because I'm the only one looking at the chat right now, yeah, so exactly. it would have to be me and I don't want to yodel. Mm. Unless it's a really good yodel. I never was a big fan of yodels. No. I didn't like the chocolate coating. 
Mm. Yodels. Never had those little. I'm thinking of like treats. But baby yodel's pretty cute. <laughs> <laughs> is, is baby yodel a chocolate covered treat? <laughs> Might as well be. A green chocolate covered treat? Pistachio. <laughs> <laughs> That went off the rails pretty fast. Yeah. <laughs> what rails, Dave? Yeah. Good, good job, stuff. Yeah. No, we're, <laughs> we're out here. We're out here past the guardrails. So. Yeah. At least we didn't go off the cliff. Uh, actually, we did. We did. Okay. Yeah. Well. So did the conversation. <laughs> it's my role as an FCF, SCF to facilitate off-rail conversations. Part of the job description. It is. Highlighted in bold. This is mostly a talus ramp we're coming on right now, and uh, looks like we're coming to up into some in-place rocks and flows above here. I was going to ask, would these be considered nuggets, or are they? No, these are boulders. Boulders? Big, big things. Is nugget a technical term? No, I'm trying to make it, though. I have it. To me, it's to a technical it term. Oh, someone in the chat said, yodle hee hoo. Ooh. Nice. That's all you're getting, chat. I was going to say, Anna got you to yodel, too. I had to. We teased them too much. <laughs> How steep do you think this is? Mm. I'd, probably, I'd probably say over 60 degrees steep. Yeah, it's pretty steep over there. Yeah. Let's look to the right. That was a small little nose. Oh, we fish. got a fish. I'll check for steepness later. That's our first wish, fish of the watch. All right, Dave, you can zoom if you got it. Fish. Is that a cusk? Cool. Show me your head. <laughs> He's ignoring you. He He's actually around. very close. He's inside yeah. the lights. Can I have down light on, please? Roger. Focus. Down light Good on. job. You said this was a cusk eel? It's really close. Hard to find I the think, focus. I mean, I'm not a, a specialist. Ah. Little kinda Come back. <laughs> oh, he's right on the porch. <laughs> yeah, he's very close. I guess I'm close. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you. I'll leave him alone. I'll check steepness. Should I turn the downlight back off? Yeah, please. Wow, look how steep that is. It's kind of a basin, actually. Mickey, the more I look, the more it curves around, you see? Yeah. All right, I'm going to not look this way and instead go up the steep slope. There's a bit of a cliff coming up, so I'm going to try to get up. Cliff? Do we need a bigger delta for that? Well, I'm coming up, so you're going to come up oh, with me. Alrighty. Oh, you are coming up. You yeah, betcha. The, these are some nice lava flows that are in place. It's more of a nose than a cliff, I guess. It's just this thing. So we have a question in the chat. How deep can you go with Hercules and Atalanta? Hercules can go 4,000 meters, right? But how deep can Atalanta go? 6,000 meters. Oh. And later in the season, we might even be going to 5,500 or something like that. Great. Stay tuned. Hercules can't go that far, though. Correct. 4,000 for Hercules. We have Little Hercules, which is an inspection class ROV, which can go to 6,000. And that one's just for, like, looking and not for... Just for looking. Sampling and stuff. Well, yeah, look how correct. steep that is there. All these primnoids there. Yeah. Call this a primnoid precipice. I like the horizontal growing corals. Yeah, they don't care about no stinking gravity. <laughs> wow, look at these. Ooh. Beautiful. I do think they like the view. They tend to be on like cliff edges. Can we zoom in on this one, please? Oh, yeah, Dave? this one's a little different. Just I got some good backlighting here. Or back, you know what I mean. 
Those little soft corals down, 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 down at the bottom there, too. Contrast, that would be the word. That's yeah, a great word for it. I'm going to tilt down and then try this again. Wow, that's nice. Mushroom corals. Wow, I haven't seen those before. What's the difference between a soft coral and a hard coral? The um, amount of uh, calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate. So the soft corals don't have skeletons? Yes, all of them. But I guess the soft corals get, uh, have more proteinous, chitinous skeleton wow. than escherites. Nice, nice view of the bamboo here. You see the, yeah. the nodes. The internodal branching. What's, do you know what this is down here? Coral? Yeah, it looks <laughs> like the little soft bit. You got any more zoom there, Dave? Nope. Okay. Uh, nice job. This is great. Yes. Beautiful. All right, thank you. Come wide, please. Okay, you got the long bread, your long... Uh, bamboo coral too thing coming off. Yeah, wow. A lot of diversity here. It's a good nose. It's a little, little outcropping. Yeah, Stephanie, now, now you see why Steve always likes to run the ridges on these uh, mm -hmm. dies. I'm the one who forces them to go into the basins and look at stuff. And then everyone's <laughs> like, oh, rocks. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> After learning about the rocks yesterday, I have a better appreciation for rocks. What did you learn? About the, here I am trying to pronounce words again. The, wait, I'm looking it up. Geography. Uh, <laughs> the geography. <laughs> the lithology of rocks oh, I learned. Oh, nice. Could so work. all the different specks and layers inside the rock that they splice open. Nice shot of a Ritigorgia. Is that a Ritigorgia too? I up think there? so, yeah. Nice. Beautiful. Does it have another one of those little mm. tentacle associate uh, things it does attached look to like it? it, doesn't it? Look at that spiral. Yeah, that's a Ritigorgia. Oh. oh, wow. Look at the pair of these two. That's Beautiful. great. Looks nice. like they're talking to each other. What do you see down there? Oh, I don't see much. <laughs> I don't have eyes. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> we were talking about the Muppets earlier, so are these Statler and Waldorf? <laughs> I think so. Well, that's some great scenery there, guys. Good Beautiful. job. Best view of the rocks I've seen in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Only the pesky biology would get out of the way. Still on this ridge with broken pillows off to the side. Annabelle, when you got a spare moment, let's do some gauge checks, please. Roger. Let's see, it's 9.06. Trevor, do we have some time to let Elias give us an overview of our dive track and everything? Yeah. And Dave, is that possible to pop that up? So, uh, Elias, are you ready to tell us a story? You're muted. Up. Wait until you told the whole story, and then tell you. <laughs> <laughs> we have high pack going out on uh, Sat three now. Great, thank you. So you can zoom out if you want to show any. Right, yeah. We've come a long way. Yeah. Nice. Oh, we're not even at the top yet. Yes. Are we going to the top at all? Yes, we're going oh. to the top, yeah. Yeah, just stand by as I walk you through. Yeah, I think this is good enough. Yeah, that's perfect. 
Yeah, so hi everyone. Um, we started um, from this waypoint 1B down here, and that's about um, 2,800 meters, like approximately. And then um, we've been walking our way through, like from waypoint 1B. Then we've, these are all the um, all the targets that we've taken, like the samples, uh, the biology, and um, the the rocks. Yeah, we've, and um, let me let me try to zoom in to get to the second waypoint. It's hidden somewhere. <laughs> okay, yeah, there we go. Ooh. Yeah. So this is where we have the second waypoint, and next to it is this um, top of local eye area. Then we kept moving forward. Um, where is it? The third waypoint. Yeah, it's so it's hidden here. Yep. Let me try to zoom in. So if you wanted that. Yeah, there's mushroom coral over here too. Sorry, go ahead, Elias. Yeah. So we have um, the third waypoint here, and then just next to it, we sampled. Um, oh, oh, what was it we sampled again? Let me let me see. Was that number thirty? Yeah. That's the squat lobster that swam away. So yeah, the price yeah. We had the octo coral. Then we kept moving forward. Okay, let's get a polyp zoom on this, please. So, so can you explain that? Yeah. And we are making our eight way to the waypoint four now. Yeah. And then we are about um, yeah, 200 meters zoom, away. Just uh, zoom to the left here, or you pan to the left a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So, uh, yeah, there's some uh, barnacles, barnacles there. Barnacles. OK, sorry. Yeah. And what's Thank the stone you. here? There's down at the bottom. Is, a, is that a shadow? Or not just a background? Sorry. Go ahead, Lai. Sorry. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah so and we're, here we are now just about 200 meters away from waypoint four. And then we have two more waypoints okay, to go you, uh, to get to the peak, uh, to the summit of yep. the of the peak. Um, so we have this waypoint five here, and then um, the last but not the least, which is this waypoint six. Yeah. So um, that's, that's been the journey so far. Yep. Thanks, so, for, thanks for following us. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the uh, the ship, what are all the things around the ship when you zoom in? Gauge check finished. Thank you. All looks good. All looks yes, good. Yes, and um, this is our ship, the one in purple, EV Nautilus. And then behind uh, the ship, we have um, two ROVs. Um, let me kind of zoom into it. So this bigger one here in the center, that is um, Aquilis. And then um, this, the one to the right is um, is Atlanta, and this is just a beacon here, like just the USB beacon, like flying around. Yeah, the the one to the left of um, Hercules, and um, the lines in black, those are contour lines, like they are just lines um, that are, that are showing depths of um, point of equal depths. And um, I think the interval here it's about 50 meters. Let me let me let me let to confirm. And I think those are 10 meters. Okay. The yeah. Fat ones are uh, yeah. 100 yeah. meters. Yeah, these are 100 meters. Yeah. Great. Well, thanks, Lies. You're welcome. A little yeah. more, little more sediment here. Sorry. Go ahead. So we started at what was it? 2,500 meters. You said. I thought I said 2,800. Or 2,800 meters, and now we're at 2,300 meters. That's correct. So in the chat, we have explained the two green laser beams. Those are uh, 10 centimeters apart, so we can measure things. In the chat, yes, John, this is Steph. Hello. Yeah. Zoom in on that. Yeah. I don't quite know what you were looking for. I thought I thought I saw a coral there. I see. Well, let's find out. Or maybe I did. Yeah, there is something there. Yeah. Okay. We can zoom in, please. Let's say I have some associates on it. Look at the current blowing through here. Yeah. yeah.
Look at that cinema cam view. The yeah. cinema cam is, oh, that is really breathtaking nice. every single time. You get, get some really nice pillows in the background. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you. They don't look like they'd make very good pillows. No. For those of you watching at home, the cinema cam is on channel three on nautiluslive.org. Yes. Where else would they be watching if they didn't have we? the website already? Uh, YouTube. Yeah. Yes, we can. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. I like I like it when people are on nautiluslive.org, though, because they, then they could participate in the chat. Yeah. And then, you know, link to all the other resources we have. Okay, zoom in, please. Do you think, can we give another try to this? Sample, sure. To this. Come wide, please. Is there a squat out there? Yes. Okay. I don't think we're going to get a squat lobster by sampling it, but we can try if you would like. Um, suction tool is not working? No. I've heard there's something stuck in it. There's a piece of coral stuck in it. Maybe the lobster could get the coral out. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you like to do? Um, yeah, try. Okay. We have do you want to try? Yes. Yeah. This is the last time. <laughs> I sure. think it's the same species. Downlight on, please. Okay. Roger? It could be the same yeah. one, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Just look, is it yeah. out of breath from running? <laughs> Downlight's on. And is, it's on the same and type of on coral? Craft. It's uh, in a... Uh, Chrysogordid, but... Was that the last one, too? It was on. Let's say what is the... Cool. Thing. Zoom in, please. In there. Maybe back out just a touch. Yeah, I got there. Thank you. I think this will be a good spot to reset. Sure. Uh, Not right now, says yeah. suction is possible, but 50% chance of success, given the issues. There goes the squat lobster. Trying to escape. Come wide, please. We can do it. <laughs> Stay, Be please. ready on toolbox. <laughs> Roger. Do you prefer forward for this one, Trevor? Yes. Okay. Omega, please. Omega, understood. Okay, open it. Here it comes. No. Oh. 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 Should I no. keep the coral? Keep yeah, the coral. Yeah, keep it the coral. We're gonna have so much coral in here. So much sticky coral. Yeah, maybe if you sit there with it open, it'll come back in. My yeah. coral! <laughs> you get a tiny piece in Lambda too, just for good measure. Okay, you can close that. Thank you. Tool tray is secured. Thank you. All right, we can uh, have a bubble on porch, down light off. Roger. Do you want us to reset before moving ahead? Yes, that's great. Yeah, we have this yep. nicely here. Perfect. Great, thank you. You're welcome. Let's go. I just found out all that work I did in the beginning of the die or the beginning of the watch making that update uh, didn't save, so now I have to redo it. Oh, I love doing stuff twice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like sampling squat lobsters. <laughs> oh, <laughs> burn! That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It turned so quickly. <laughs> no. So quick. That was good. It 
there's something in the cinema cam. It's like an eel. Fish. Oh. Fish. Yeah. Fish eel. Eel fish. Fish eel. Mm. I haven't seen any of the grenadier ones. I like Don't those. Don't hit it. It's just a silhouette fish. Oh. Oh, but wait. Wow. <laughs> Special effects. All right, I gotta go somewhere completely not where I am. This way somehow. All right, fine. That's that's all right. Okay, did you see the note from Steve in the chat about the Crescent Gorgia? Yep. Okay, thanks. Oh no, my my highlight did or my update did update. It just shows the wrong picture. Hmm. Good aerial view of the amount of sediment a cover versus rock. Hmm. It's interesting. It seems like a little more sediment up here. I'm not sure if it's just the uh, slope or not. toppled over. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, it's toppled Same. over sponge. Yeah, sponge. It's still living. Or not totally dead. Depending on how you look at it. Not a professional. That's a big still sponge. Bite it's not dead yet. Yeah, there's something, if you pan right too, there's another something I thought I saw. Biologic, but yeah, there it is. Right here. Small, meat one. Small print line. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to give that a good background. So. No, that's fine. We can do a zoom on there, see what we can get out of it. Good luck, Dave. Thanks, Trevor. Thanks for the confidence, sir. <laughs> yeah. Good luck with my bouncy flying. <laughs> <laughs> is this the bamboo? I can't tell. Um, I think it is. I see some notes there. Maybe not. I think I see notes. Yeah, yeah. I, think, yeah I see notes, yeah. There's nodal okay. branching. Nodal branching. It is a primnoid. Is it a primnoid? Okay. Steve says genus Calyptrophora. the main axis and then secondary branches. Okay. Does right. anyone know what those Thank brittle you. stars are doing? Living on the, um, on the uh, coral, getting advantage to get food for free. Yeah. Free food. So are they eating the coral or just hanging out? Just hanging out. Yeah. Like the squat lobster. Like the squat lobster. So they don't hurt him at all.
Questions in the chat. What is channel one versus two versus three? Um, we have three different, or I guess kind of four different view views you can watch with the live stream, either on YouTube or on notuslive.org. They're just different camera views. Only three. Only three. The fourth yep. one's the quad, I'm sorry. All four at once with like a map, right? Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. uh, th uh, sat one is always the uh, Hercules camera. Sat two is always the Atalanta camera. And sat three is dealer's choice. And I'm dealing today. Great. And, yep, so what are you dealing? Uh, we're dealing in uh, pictures of uh, the van. Show everybody, everybody's faces, everybody waves, say hi out there. Hello. <laughs> Another question. Bonk, I'm too far ahead. I'll back up. Where are the fish? We've seen some fish. They're in the ocean. In the ocean. I mean, fish could be in a river or a lake. But uh, Hercules is, is really loud, right? So we think it kind of scares them off. Yeah, it's very loud. If any fish are sensitive to sound, they will not stick around. Question for the ROV pilots, what does bubble on porch mean? So there is a brow camera, I guess, um, on Hercules that we can use. It moves around to look at different parts of the ROV. So when I'll say bubble on craft, that means that I'm moving the camera to look at the arm or bubble on porch, meaning that I've moved the camera to look at the porch. There's bubble on porch on sat three right now. There it is. So Go bubbles ahead. kind of like the name of the camera or is it separate cameras? It's the name of the camera. Um, it like rotates. Do you want to move it while uh, people are watching? Yeah, sure. So there's like little controls you can go like this. And then there's presets, so like I can put it on Oops. craft like that. And then back to porch. So it we are just about 100 meters to waypoint four. Signs, uh, keep going. Just keep going to it, and then once we hit that, I mean, there's plenty of bridge to run if we get there even a little early. But uh, as we go up the slope, at some point, I probably want to grab some samples as well. Ridge runners. Sounds good. We are a little off of the uh, ridge line. We're kind of strafing it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, great. But there's a fish in the cam there, too. Fish. fish. There's the there's fish, fish viewer in chat. Right there. This is the only ocean in this fish, oh, fish in this ocean. Yeah, Trevor, I was, you know, thinking about trying to contour at one point, but since we're off like this, it's kind of a. Yeah. Does a little bit of both for us while having to purposely do it. Yeah, Roger. Shrimp. Shrimp? Shrimp. Well, shrimp. Right shrimp side. count. Nice picture. Fish is in the yeah. cinema cam. I like having extra cameras in the vehicle because if I miss, uh, mess up on aligning it to the one, it ends up aligned to another one, and I can just claim that I was trying that. <laughs> <laughs> well done. It's a great feature. There's a fish on the porch too. It's the same fish. Porch fish. Porch fish. I could put the still camera up for you too. I just don't have any place to put it. To lose something. We could lose TJ Cam. <laughs> TJ Cam. You don't want to keep track of what's going on on the deck. He's been playing with his banana crane all morning. And while there's only rocks to look at, what is the most interesting animal you've seen? <laughs> only rocks. 
Anyone want to answer? Most interesting animal? On a sponge. A sponge? Living in associate this with a sponge. Oh. I'm a devout rock person. Are rocks the most interesting yeah. animal you've seen? <laughs> and what is the most interesting rock? Is that a rock? Like that triangle? This one. That looks like a sponge. Oh. All rocks are interesting. They have different personalities. <laughs> Some are like quiet, stone-faced. Uh -huh. I was going to say, I think it's kind of hard to much determine what personalities they have. Much like yourself, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I like the nuggets. Well, according to Rob, these are boulders. <laughs> I'm doubtful of that, though. They look small to me. If only we so had a way to measure them. <laughs> <laughs> We do. Oh. Those two green dots, oh, 10 nice. centimeters apart. <laughs> okay, please zoom on the coral. Is that the same primnoid, the branchy one? Calyptrophora. It seems like Calyptrophora, but I'm not an expert on coral, so. All the associates on the on that one. Yeah. The cinema cam. There are 27 species on the genus Calyptrophora in the Pacific. Can you wow. zoom in a long way, please, Dave? There's a weird gap in the rock there. It's got a weird reflection on it. Let's keep the lasers in view. Yeah. He's, ah, I'm sorry, I'm bouncy. Behind the corals, do you see the reflection of the green? Yeah. There? No. Uh, of course, I'm too bouncy to do anything useful anymore. Uh, do you want me to bring Delta down? No, that's my, my flying problem. Right? Um, there. Maybe. It's weirdly reflective on the rock back there, just below. So I can get it right. Oh. There. That little. Ooh. Yeah, I see a flash. Yeah, I saw you too. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? Yeah. Got it again. <laughs> <laughs> what am I looking at there? Never know. Okay, I gotta go. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so One Steve, of life's great mysteries. Steve says if it's possible to get a piece of the printnoid. It is not. That okay. no. We can get the next one. Yep. As long as someone else identifies the animal, because I am not reliable. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy to say someone in the chat's asking about the shrimp count tally. Um, <laughs> I believe from previous watches it was 15, and then on this watch we've seen, I've only seen three. So, Well, I, I have to say that maybe <laughs> all we are counting as shrimps are different things. Yeah, but... But to me, they're all shrimps. They could be um, um, mice eats, mm. mice shrimps, and decapod shrimps. Well, I mean, but it's okay. they're both shrimps, right? They're both shrimps. Yeah. Shrimp Looks families. Like some stuff here if you have time. Sure, we can look. I'm just counting those red things that yeah. kind of like dart across Actually, the this camera. This one may be more appropriate. Any, any of these up there. Okay, Dave, do what you think is best. Yeah. Count another. Another? <laughs> that little white thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think this is the one that Steve was... Had on a little branchy here? one. Oh, yeah, on the top. Yeah, yeah. Okay, come wide, please. I'm going to try to set up your sample here. I've got a nice big rock, of course. Uh, how am I going to do this? And there's a squad lobster Gorgia. there. Same. Can you turn on I'm down, please? Yeah. Roger. So have you known that before? They have a certain preference Ooh. Of Gorgia. and bubble yeah. on craft please. those sort of tycos Roger. yes we were revising images but the species of Urop tycos uh, is to be confirmed
come up on your delta. Roger. Okay, zoom in please. Uh, how about right? Perfect. Right there. <coughs> what? Snip. There we go. There you go. Thank you, Dave. Nice. Okay, can I put this in something up front? You can put it in Omega. Omega. We're all about Omega today, aren't we? Because this is not a bamboo coral. This is a primnoid. Mm. Yeah. Okay, then we're good for omega. Omega. What's the name again, Dita? A primnoid. P R I M N O I D. Okay, uh, toolbox. Thank please. you so much. Roger. Yeah, good there. I think you can come up a little bit on delta. Okay. Delta's around 16. Yeah. 17, 18-ish. Great. Oh. Well. Uh. Going. And there, there we go. Okay, you can good. close that. Roger. Did you come up on Delta already? Uh, yeah, we're at 17, 18-ish on Delta. Okay, keep coming up then. Great. Thank you, Trevor. I'm just noticing that little arm that you're using that you pulled out. That's cool. <laughs> uh, who, me? Sorry, what? Yeah, Trevor, the, the arm that you use to control the arm. Oh, yeah, it's a little miniature version of itself. Yeah, yeah that's so cool. I never noticed Bubble the porch? that being used sure, before. Sure, please. And you can keep coming up on Delta. right underneath you right now, so we want to be around 20. Roger. If anyone listening has access to either Leela or Bronwyn, could you let them know that I have one sample form left, please? That's an exercise for viewers at home. Find Leela or Bronwyn. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone yeah. on the ship, preferably. <laughs> That'd be easier, yeah. I can send a message in our SEF chat, too, as well, if you want. Okay, thank you. Yep. Sometimes it takes a bit to get the Atalanta thank you. tilt cool. going. Totally, yeah. Okay. And sometimes it takes a bit to get it to stop going. That too. <clears throat> we have some new code written for it. It's just not quite ready for deployment. Awesome. Looking forward to it. One day. Yeah, we're still heading up this talus ramp. Boulder sides, chunks of rock. Trevor, is Antonella still working on that? Uh, I don't believe at this moment she is. Oh, okay. I think it's more waiting for an opportunity to uh, do more work on it and testing. I just first. meant, was it still her project? Yeah, I'm not sure. Zoom in, please. Let's look at these brittle stars. This is this also is the same um, as we just sampled? I, I think so. Ooh, what's in the back there, too? Is that a black coral? The ba like in the background? It's a black coral. Mm. Cool. You can tell from the black stem, right? From the uh, black axis and from the tentacles. Thank you, Dave.
So there's a question in the chat. Is there a priority to dive locations or do you dive whenever slash wherever you can? I love that question. Yes and yes. And yes. <laughs> <laughs> No, that there is a priority for the certain sorts of features, ones that haven't been mapped before, uh, or surveyed before, or dove, dove on. So that's why we're really trying to cover as much area as we can. And uh, yeah, we want to dive as often as we can. Yeah, they had a second part to that question. Um, did Dora interrupt objectives you had planned, or rather relocate to a location away from the storm? So we did move south. Um, and we were gonna dive, but it, it just the weather conditions still weren't right. Um, so we just came back up and continued our normal uh, dive plan um, that you can find on the expedition page, I think, right? Yep, our objectives are still the same. Which leads to another question. What did you all do during the weather? Games, reading, workouts, eating? Well, always eating. <laughs> Puzzles. Puzzles, yeah, we were doing some some hard puzzles some good talks too yeah we have uh, science talks the scientists will share what they're studying shrimp sleep shrimp. and the mapas were mapping oh yeah <laughs> sleep and um yeah so the whole transit uh down south and back up we were uh doing our multi-beam mapping our rov team got in some opportune maintenance and upgrades little fiddly things that we otherwise didn't make uh, time for so we had time to catch up on all those small projects, which is great. Yeah, and the the science communications team we worked on a lot of uh, educational posts and fun social media interactions. So this is gonna be an associate, right? Yep. Oh, you see, if it has a little associated side. Video team also did uh, maintenance and a lot of little things that normally would just kind of get put off, uh, and we got caught up on a bunch of stuff. Yep, we're always working, 24-7. Except when we're sleeping. I, I haven't slept sleeping. in weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Dave, I'm going to try and zoom inside here and see if uh, we can see an associate. So They have a house cleaning shrimp. Zoom as you see fit. Is that a technical term, house cleaning shrimp? Well, sometimes they're in there. They get trapped in there. Oh, no. No, but it's good. It's a win-win. Oh, win -win. oh yes. It's free housing, no rent. I wish. Can't it be evicted because they're caged what, in? What is that? Is there one? No, that's just the uh, the web. There's not a little dot in there at the very bottom. Kind of tell. Yeah. Let me try and get there. Something in there. I don't know what it is, but. Try one more tip down here. Oh, that's the porch. Let's see if we can see inside. This sponge is from the family Euplectilidae, if I pronounce that correctly. Also learned that yesterday. You did it perfect. Yeah, hard to see. <laughs> okay, thank you, come wide. Lots of Thanks learning, forever. yeah. What is the usual duration of each mission? So first we'll say like this expedition um, was from August, is from August 2nd to August 29th, um, but the duration of the dives can change, but they're uh, usually like go. about 20 hours, right? Yeah. About one a day. About one a day. Mm. About eight hours between, so they could do maintenance and on the ROVs. Mm -hmm. And map. And map. And map. Do y'all eat the fish and shrimp? No, but we do eat oh. fish and shrimp, just not from the ocean. Well, right. I mean, yes, from the ocean, yeah, but not. You can really see the uh, sediments Delta, coming please. out of the uh, push core oh. now. Thank you. Coming up on Delta. Yeah, that push core was smoking a lot. Yeah, it's been it's still smoking. smoking. Still smoking, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure how. We'll have to do a gasket assessment on that one, I think. Oh, 
Yeah, it's like we're into real rocks again, not just talus. Mm -hmm. Real deep. deal rocks right now. The other ones are fake, yeah, fake yeah. rocks. You Classic see all like, like different interconnected tubes of the flows coming out through there. We just passed them um, with 0.4 and heading to with 0.5. Does it look a prim node over there? Or if you're still climbing too fast? We can look at it, yeah. Looks like there's several of them. Let's have a look at this nice looking one. So my mom asked, so you're back ahead, to where Sue. you're diving, where you're supposed to be. Yes, <laughs> we're back at the John Smith Hole. Yes, mother. <laughs> Oops, landslide. I got to go. <laughs> yeah, lots of primos here. It's over there. The branching kind, I think. <laughs> now some talus debris and sediments. What debris? Talus debris. It's uh, Woody Debris' brother. Okay. <laughs> I thought they were cousins. Okay, cousins. Distant cousins? Twice Dist removed? Distinct cousins. This <laughs> but they were in the same band, so. <laughs> oh, okay. But one was the outlaw and one was the sheriff. <laughs> Question Do you guys do deep dives in the winter? I don't know what they mean by deep dives but we our expeditions last from May until December deep dives in the winter I mean these are all pretty deep pretty deep dives does does the ocean have seasons is would there be a winter in quotes under here It, it depends on the latitude. Mm. I mean, because the, the water column profile changes a little more at the higher latitudes than at the equator. And so it's going to have some impact on sunlight, the duration of sunlight, and also the water column properties. Basically, the, the temperature of the water kind of changes. Yeah. So there, it, there's a seasonality. Okay. And we're at, you know, Johnson Atoll, which is like. 700 or so nautical miles south of the Hawaiian coast, so there's not many seasons in general on land up here, well, down here. In, in this deep, there's not that much of a change. Yeah. Did the ship have to stop for that new move, or are they still going? They're still going. Okay. It's like kind of old position and kept going. Yeah, right. And there's seasonal changes in wind intensity that changes upwellings. It's like a and, little uh, tiny hold position. Not a longer mm -hmm. term yeah. like these Enso or the El Nino La Nina. Mm -hmm. It's like not just an it. annual thing, yeah. but it could be multiple years. Different types of seasons, I don't know why but you exactly. have to do that cycles too. nonetheless. Doesn't make any sense. And then there's the glacial cycles. Mm -hmm. Mm. 25,000 years, 100,000 years, 400,000 years. A lot of cycles. Yep. I had to do a project once on DVL different natural cycles. Off. Once you have a chance, we yeah, can just resist it. I'm actually waiting for the ship right now. I'll oh. move forward a little bit and I'll give you a new spot. Oh, okay. Quite a bit more sediment here, too. I wonder if that's because we get near the top. Right here for 30 seconds or so. Okay.
What's the deepest Nautilus has gone? I have one more left, so if possible, yeah. Let me know when you're happy. If you got some good hits, yeah. go for it. No problem. Mm, are you speaking from Data Lab? Come on. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. What was the question? Did I hear yeah. how deep or something? Deepest Nautilus has ever gone? Oh, yeah. What's the deepest Nautilus has gone? Zero meters. It is a <laughs> Oh, okay. Vessel. No, not the ship. With the <laughs> us. I sure hope. Yeah. Hercules, Little Herc, any, anything that's not the ship. It's <laughs> a good question. I don't know if we've gone past 4,000 with Little Herc or Argus Atlanta yet. I know I've seen Hercules go to 3950. But I don't know if I've seen. I don't know if I've seen anything go past that. It doesn't mean it hasn't happened. It just means I haven't seen it. Look at this change in direction. Yeah. Atlanta is just going some other weird way. New current or something. Yeah, maybe. Cool. Yeah, good chance to zoom in on this one. Yes, we, we haven't can. seen one in a while. Huh? Bunch of things on this. Silly me, auto depth isn't gonna work. There we go. All right. At your leisure, Dave. I'm gonna still get a little closer. Yeah, a number of different types of things here. Oh, there's a sea star over here too. I believe. Whenever on the backside. I see the sea star. Yeah. We're looking at this one first. Yeah, just look at that and, and work our way around. Okay. All right, start working my way around okay. here. Look at that cinema cam. Another prim node. It's the same. Yep. Is that the bubble gum? I think that's the fake bubble gum. Oh, okay. Tricks me. Mm. Faux gum. Fubble gum. Fubble. I don't remember what that one's called. Yeah, Steve's saying have a coral corallium. Steve, let us know if we want to get this star. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, good gravy. How many arms does it have? Way too many. Quite Way, thick. way too many. Apex predator. Yeah. Is it? Yes, it is. On it's top of something right now? Yes, it is. Yeah. Ooh. Is it eating a mushroom? Apex coral? predatoring. Let us know, Steve, if this is something you like. We're not going to try to sample, are we? I don't know. He was but wanting to get some sort of uh, sea stars. All right. Well, we can if Steve we said it's eating a brazingid. Mm. That's a fun word. Brazingid. No, just get good images. Okay. And I'll you are around. on it. I have turned into paparazzi. <laughs> Ooh, I'll put a highlight up. Yeah, leave them alone while they're eating, you know? Do we know what type of star this is? Hungry. He, he said this might be a first. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. What's a Brazingid? One moment, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's a starfish. Yeah, so it's a starfish eating another starfish. <gasps> look at the cinema camp, too. Oh. That's or gorgeous. Or a sea star. All right, you can uh, come wide Same a bit, thing. Dave. I'm going to try and line up on the cinema cam as well. Oh, I was way far away. Look at me go. Wow, that is gorgeous stuff. I give it some high marks here, Maranke. This is pretty. I think there are some black corals here. Maybe we should look at them if we can. Sure, put, we can put it out. Zoom in on the black corals. Yeah. Go ahead, Dave.
breezy down here. I thought that was from Hercules, kind of. There was also that, absolutely. There's definitely a little bit of side current. Yeah. Okay, I should nice. go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I'm sorry if I asked this already, but did we know the species of that sea star? Steve called it the... Uh, Solasteri, the family Solasteri. Okay. Seems strange to see in this, you know, debris field of Talos to see that one large rock like that with everything on it. Maybe it also broke free like the rest of these ones, or what do you think? Yeah, it probably did, but it's, uh, it's probably been there for a while. Oh, yeah. Because I was wondering how often these bits and pieces fall off the slope above. Someone in the chat said, wait, wait, the star is eating another star. It appeared like it was. That's exactly what was happening. It's exactly what it was. And we think that might be a first. The species or the, ac the action? The action. Oh, really? really? Steve thinks it might be a first. You've seen it here first, folks. There are different species, though, right? Yes, right? Yes. Yes. It's like a wolf eating a dog kind of thing. <laughs> and that cinema cam is really picking things up you don't see in the... Uh... Yeah, totally. The low helps for that. I yeah. Know. Also helps to put it in the smash zone, but you know, price you gotta pay. Hello, Hassan in Baltimore. Thanks for being a fan. Looks like Atlanta's no. straightened herself take, out. Take picture, but to the curve, then nothing has yeah. happened. I, th I guess this. I'm seeing them show up. I'm seeing them. See? And then the. So apex predator means it's at the top of the food chain, right? Apex predator. Yeah. So top if predator. So if a sea star is an apex predator, but the sea star was eating the sea star, would that still make it an apex predator? Sharks eat sharks. Yeah. Oh yeah, true. Sharks do eat sharks. Bears eat bears. Hyper predator. I've never heard of bears eating bears. Bears eat bears? Yeah. And dozy dotes. <laughs> and little lambs eat ivy. <laughs> the kettle eat ivy too. Would you? <laughs> <laughs> so the thick star is part of asteroids, and those are predatory, but Brazingids, what it was eating, that's planktivorous, so it eats plankton. Oh, I love oh. that word, planktivorous. It's a great word. Great word. We'll put it on the vocab next to Boitriodal. Yeah. Planktivorous Brazingid. That, that word is courtesy of Steve. Thanks, Steve. Science Steve strikes again. <laughs> Hitting us right in the face with knowledge. <laughs> I just realized carnivorous and carne are the same. But he says they also eat asteroids, which is really surprising since they're out of space. <laughs> no, they are asteroids. Oh. <laughs> They're from space. Okay. Oh, we're doing another one of these now. What's, what's she doing down there? <laughs> Oh, 
I guess there's a, there's a lot of coins. There must be, yeah, and just weird spots. Yeah. yeah. Foiled again by the tether. <laughs> <laughs> That long, skinny animal in the Atalanta cam. The tether? The tether, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a herbivore. <laughs> it has a proboscis that um, sucks the life out of herc. <laughs> Flatter here with a lot of sediments now amongst these blocks of rocks. What's the depth of the top of the seamount? Anyone know? Uh, 2167, about okay. 2200. So we're there. close. Yeah. yeah. We're at uh, 2,283 meters. So are these things still primnoids, or are they, uh... You want to zoom to check it out? Yeah, let's, let's, I mean, there's this couple of them here. There's this one, yeah, this is probably the easier of the primnoid to check yeah. out. Go for it when you're ready, Dave. That looks to be the yeah. same. It's incredible the, the depth donation on a lot of these. Rob, for a geology guy, you're sure good at spotting out the biology. Yeah. Years of training. Mm -hmm. I learned from the best when I was with Steve. Who'd you learn from then? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, Steve. Careful, Steve is always listening. I know. <laughs> That's why I know I can make those jokes. Can't make it if he's not listening. He's behind us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. We have a ton of new sample forms. Mm -hmm. So, ready to sample whenever you guys are. Want to sample all of these rocks? <laughs> do you use one form per sample? Yes, I do. Oof, one left was, was pretty close. Yep. <laughs> Down to the wire. That's a cool little rock thing on the... Yeah, it's a lava tube. Lots of uh, manganese and crustacean out of here. Are they? Aren't they all manganese and encrusted? Yeah, I mean most of them. There's some that may be broken off that are a little fresher. But yeah, you can see this texture, the the bumpy texture on all these. These are nice little pillows and lava tubes here. We got a. Some features over here if you want to zoom real quick. Sure. Another prim node in the... Uh, Bevel gum. Yep. Okay, can we zoom in, please? I'm pretty far away, but I don't want to smash these ones close. Just to confirm. Thanks. All right, thank you. You know, these other ones, uh, bamboo, if you see the longer ones, just want to confirm. This one? Yeah, so like that. Yeah, or I can or do over it. here, just to see a confirmation on it. I can do a zoom on this one here, and then we'll move over. Go ahead. Ooh, sorry, bouncy. 
Yeah, I see the node. See nodes? Yep, I see a node. The node knows. <laughs> okay, thank you. And I don't remember where the other one is. Where are you? These long ones what you're yeah. after? Yeah. Alright. I mean these are some of the branchy ones, but I remember the last other other expeditions we've seen the, the singular stock ones. Okay, go for it. Yeah, there's yeah, I see nose at the bottom there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna move along. Oh, what is this? Is it a China cops? Don't. Oh, oh my god, it is! <gasps> They're my favorite! Oh. I'm gonna cry. Okay, zoom in on the Chana Cups, please. Um. Uh, look at that derpy little face. I know! Oh, it's so Poke cute. it with a stick. No, it's not. Poke it with a stick. It's face in the cinema cam. Oh, oh his goodness. face in the cinema little cam. You can see his face. feet. Earth's feet. Beautiful. It doesn't look happy to see it. <laughs> oh, and there's a wormy thing that just oh. swam oh, yeah. out from behind a rock in what the cinema cam. What is with this thing's head? It's it, perfect. Yeah. Leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering how I can be so perfect. It looks so fuzzy. <laughs> they have a lot of little, like, spiky S little... Sensors. Yeah, they're, they're um, related to anglerfish. Oh, okay. That's yeah, they have a lore that's not as like pronounced. That's great. As the typical anglerfish. Wow, cool. Very beautiful. Very powerful. Chana cups. Thanks, world. Thanks, world, yeah. for showing me that. Yep. What would we rate yeah, that we on a highlight scale? Um, a ten <laughs> out of five. Ten out of five. I sense some personal bias creeping in. Um. <laughs> Someone in the chat said they have a Chana Cops tattoo. I have one booked for the end of this expedition. Do you so really? Someone in the chat does, and I have one booked. You really have some a Chana Cops tattoo booked for the end of this? Yeah. Expedition? That's amazing. Yeah, some, some artist in Honolulu yeah. is going to do it for me. And so I'm glad I got to see one. Awesome. Have you seen the art already? No, but it's not till September 4th, so they have some time. You gonna get it modeled after one you've seen? Um, one that Nautilus has seen before, but it, it looked exactly like the one we just saw. <laughs> but maybe I should send them a picture of the one we just saw once it's up to the public. Donna Cops was described on a LinkedIn post uh, the other day as being Barbie pink. Yeah, it was. So uh, we're on trend. Yeah, because we saw one swimming on the first dive, right? Yeah. Someone in the chat said, nice boy triodal texture on these rocks, <laughs> Jason. <laughs> I think it looks like a bunch of grapes to me. 